and some tips on how you can make it easy for you to understand the translation of the Holy Quran. Many of the things you understand and some of the things you memorize. First thing, writing writing the words in Arabic is different than writing the words in English. In English there are spaces between the words. In Arabic there are no spaces. Then it is very hard for you to tell where does the word end. Number two. Sometimes two or three words are written just like one word. Okay, for example, you tell me, this is the first ayah, Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. How many words are there in this ayah? One, two, three, and four. But actually they are not four. They are more than four. Al means the, Hamdu, praise, Li, for, Allahi, Allah, Rabbi, Lord, one word, Al, the, Alameen, the worlds, the universe, which makes seven words. If you know there are seven, then it is going to be easy for you to translate. Number two, some words, they are occurring again and again in the Holy Quran. For example, the, he, she, we. If you learn the general words, it will become a little bit easier for you. Learning the Arabic grammar. It will minimize your memorization portion. If the grammar can make it easier for you, then you should take help from grammar. In Arabic, look, na'budu. Na means we. And Ain Badal Ibadah. Ibadah means worshipping. And Na'budu means we worship. And if you want to change it, I worship, instead of Na, you add A in the beginning. A'budu, I worship. Okay, this is the grammar that you know. Adding A in the beginning adds the meaning of I. I worship. Ta'budu, you worship. Ya'budu, he worships. Right? So if you know the grammar, it will be easy for you to make new words. Number four. Now remain those words which are new for you. The vocabulary. And there are a couple of ways to remember the vocabulary. One very common way is repetition. Repeat the word with its meaning a couple of times. At the time you are repeating it, you are supposed to focus on it. Okay? Focus the way it is written in Quran and Yawmi day. Okay? Then, repeating it in different times, not in one time. You memorize now, after two or three hours, spare some time and start repeating them again. The next day morning, repeat them again. When you come back from school, repeat them again. It's not that you spend one full hour together memorizing just 15 words. Number five. There are some terms in the Holy Quran. Quran has its own vocabulary. Okay? The Islamic terminology. In the Quranic terminology. Sometimes it is different from the literal meaning. Number six, context. Sometimes the context will change the meaning. For example, ishtara. This word has been used in two different meanings. Buying and selling. Both are totally opposite meaning. How will you decide in which meaning has it been used in the Holy Quran or in a specific ayah? The context will help you. Right? Right?